to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. I've heard from some people that 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 doesn't mention uh, that we think of homosexuals, but rather pedophilia or male prostitution. What is the evidence for and against this? So for those of you not familiar, there is this passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 where it talks about what we have been saved out of and been saved from. Now what's interesting is some versions of the Bible actually use the word homosexuality. Other versions use sexual immorality in a host of language. What's interesting is people have claimed, per this question, that the actual word, what we know as homosexuality, is not used. You're correct. However, it is a word that is using a sexual practice with those whom you should not have a sexual union with. Now, why is that critical? Because the term pedophilia is not remotely in the realm of either one of those. And so again, even though pedophilia, of course, is a sinful behavior and action that anybody and everybody, particularly believers, should stray from, the problem with this passage is those that want to excuse, advocate, or even at times celebrate what we know as homosexuality go into passages like 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, and a host of other ones and go, well, the Bible doesn't really mean that. It really means, and here's what they do. They use a word such as pedophilia as one that nobody is going to argue with with being wrong to excuse, quote, homosexual behavior. Here's what one needs to understand, whether it's in the book of Leviticus, whether it's the book of Romans, whether it's in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, what you and I know as, quote, homosexuality, one man with another man, one woman with another woman, is considered wrong sin, and even Leviticus calls it an abomination. Now, the reason that's important is the term that's used there in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 is not a term for quote-unquote pedophilia. Pedophilia could be lumped in with sexual immorality, but in the context, it is dealing with what you and I know as that sinful disposition and behavior that is contrary to the will and the way of God. Again, there are times where we try to allow the Bible to say things it doesn't say to excuse things we'd like it to excuse when it does not. Great question. If you have one, send to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.